Hey guys, Omerko here, web developer from Serbia. As this is my first video on my YouTube channel, I won't do anything crazy, just a small and useful project. We will create together today pricing tables with Bootstrap 4. Uh, skills that you are required are basically HTML, uh, maybe some basics of Bootstrap 4 or even Bootstrap 3, so you could upgrade yourself to the fourth version. Uh, also, uh, pricing tables will be done uh, only with HTML, uh, so even the styling, basic styling of pricing tables will be done uh, with uh, Bootstrap 4 classes, so we won't uh, really use uh, uh, CSS for styling those tables. Let's just jump into coding and explore it. Okay, so how will this work? So basically, I have my uh, empty uh, folder here. We will start every everything from scratch. I opened up uh, that folder inside of uh, Visual Studio Code. And uh, also, I have uh, opened here Bootstrap 4 uh, website, basically their official website. We will use 4.3 uh, version of uh, Bootstrap. It is the latest version. So uh, when you go to documentation, you have this introduction, you will have a quick start uh, by them, like uh, uh, what you need to import to, so you could have the whole uh, bootstrap uh, at your project. So here is the CSS file that you need to import and there are some there are some also script files that you need to have like jQuery, Popper.js and their own uh, JS file. Uh, we will go down below and we have this starter template. We will copy this template and we will come into our Visual Studio Code. Here I will create my new file, index.html. This file will be used obviously for writing HTML and we will copy inside the whole, uh, uh, the whole template that we copied from Bootstrap. Inside of our uh, folder we will now have that index.html index and uh, I will open up uh, that file on my browser. It will immediately open up uh, the file and inside of my file I just have, uh, have this hello world. So first of all, as we want, uh, let me just uh, use uh, toggle wrap here, so uh, uh, you could see everything on uh, on my screen. So first of all, we won't use any of JS uh, here, so we could even delete those, uh, so they don't take too much space. Uh, title of this project will be price tables, and yeah, let's uh, uh, let's. Uh, just refresh the page to see if the title is uh, updated. Yes, it is. So now uh, we can start coding. Uh, so let's just start coding with uh, Bootstrap right here. So I will create a div with class of container. This class container uh, will be, be basically a wrapper for our content on our web page. So whichever section that you create uh, when you use Bootstrap, it in, well, it in, mo is in most cases you will use uh, this container. Uh, so instead of a row, Bootstrap has this row and columns, we will use something different. We will use card deck, card deck uh, uh, section, well this div here, we will make every card inside of it uh, uh, to be the same width and same height. Uh, so uh, when we code inside of the card deck, we will first create our card and uh, each card uh, uh, has his own card header and card body okay so if i stop here I'm, i don't have any content inside just a simple mock, mock up for for now i come back here and refresh the page you can see uh, a, a little bit of uh, content here so what we have here uh, the width of this uh, card basically here is uh, uh, the full width of container at this point uh, also the full width of card uh, deck at this point. This uh, grayish uh, section above is a card header that we have and the white section below is card body. Okay, so uh, let's put some uh, header here. We will put h1 tag and uh, we will put for example free text inside. When I come here and refresh the page you can see that the text is there. So I will also put uh, a class on my card text center text center will be uh, will make every text inside of our card uh, to be center so uh, let's continue to card body for card body we will have a card uh, we will have a h1 tag with class of card title and that card title could be like zero dollars uh, 
let me put like this small per month as this is the freight tier so yes that's okay next thing that i will do is uh, some unordered list to tell the users for example uh, what features uh, we offer for uh, free tier that we have here so let's say like uh, uh, two gigabyte of storage storage let's also say uh, two users for access and like customer support for example okay so when i refresh the page you could see that uh, uh, the text is in center as uh, we have this uh, as we have this uh, text center on our car but it is also moved a little bit to the right you could see it because of this uh, uh, these uh, dots that the list usually have we will use a, a class that boots up a, uh, offer is, uh, that class is list uh, list unstyled and uh, it will remove the stylings well basic default stylings that HTML offer for the list uh, uh, the one thing that we also need is a button down below so for example uh, below our, our unordered list I will create a button it will be type of button I will give it a class class button button primary for example and the uh, text inside will be sign up for free so when i refresh the page yes you could see that this is basically right now the one big card as you could see uh, let me uh, show you the example uh, the real example of card deck what the card deck uh, what card deck really can do so i will grab the whole card i will take it copy it and paste it for example two times right when i come back to the page i refresh the page and you can see that we have three cards now and uh, they they are they are all the same width same height they have same spacing uh, 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 next to them so if i copy one more we will now have four cards so the example of the card deck is basically that every card inside will be the same as the card next to it so uh, th this is probably one of the best uh, use cases for for the card deck to use it like this okay so uh, now i don't really like that these cards are really close to the top here so uh, the at the card deck i could uh, add a class mt5 for example uh, bootstrap have this uh, css classes basically to for the uh, for different basic styling so uh, what this class will do basically it will uh, add margin top uh, five that five means like five rems uh, and that's that's enough spacing for us here uh, also these cards are a little bit uh, short uh, let me go and uh, copy this like this and uh, yeah just copy to every card right so yeah they are now a little bit bigger also what will happen if this is if for example uh, this card here has uh, two more list items inside for example I will copy it add those two more items take a look now you can see that a card that has two more items obviously should be bigger but card deck will make also the other cards same uh, height so they will be always in line let me remove those items now let's change the text for example uh, we have free this will be advanced this will be pro uh, tier so it's free uh, and pro advanced will be for example 19.99 dollars per month and this will be 39.99 dollars per month so okay that's cool uh, also i will change the text inside of our buttons mm, the advanced will be for example uh, go advanced and uh, the pro version will be contact us for pro version tier right so okay uh, so yeah basically you you have your basic uh, pricing tables here that are fully done with the default styling so let's work a little bit with uh, bootstrap classes so you could see how could you change the pricing tables and the styling of pricing tables without using any css basically uh, so now i will add uh, two classes uh, for my for example first uh, pricing table here 
I will add the class BG dark and the class text white. So my BG dark will add a background for that. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, I added for card header. I need to add it on my entire card here. So yeah, it will add the background dark to the whole table and uh, also it will add the uh, to whole card and it will add the uh, white text here so let's uh, as i have here button primary you can see it it's a uh, blue color for buttons i will also add a uh, that class to uh, uh, to this small element uh, it will be text primary and it will make a blue text basically off of it so let's uh, style uh, this two also for the second card i will use a uh, uh, different styling for example bg info text white uh, button i will change button to be button secondary and also i will add here class of text secondary so let's see okay this is how it looks also for the pro tier I will do something uh, uh, like this uh, bg success text white and button uh, will be dark for example and this one will be text dark okay so yes you could see that you already have the basic stylings uh, for for your pricing tables without any use use case for uh, CSS. So now, for example, if I wish to create uh, to do something with my CSS, maybe to animate uh, uh, this uh, these cards or something like that, I could even create a styles that's a CSS file uh, inside my index.html. I need to import that file, so I will import it in my head uh, element link. It is a style sheet, so I, I, I will just add styles.css and here I will grab every card, right? And uh, I will, for example, uh, on hover on that card, on every card basically, I will do transform scale 1.1 basically. So, what will this do? You can see that. Uh, the tables will be a little bit bigger. It will just do uh, scale animation for it. But you could see that uh, this uh, animation doesn't really look look nice because it is a little bit glitchy and sketchy. So uh, I will grab my card element, card class basically, and uh, I will do transition on it. I will transition uh, all is 0.4 seconds. And now when I refresh, you could see that the cards are a little bit more smoother, right? Uh, so you could maybe ask me why did I do transition here, not here? Well, let me show you. If I do transition here, I will comment out this code now. Uh, I will save my file, come here. I will have the transition uh, for the animation, but when I come backwards, it will be still glitchy. You could see it, right? So now let me move this backwards. Okay, so yes, that will be it. We have our simple pricing tables uh, with even animation here. So yes, that, that that's everything you need to basically to create some simple pricing tables. And from, from here, you could work on your own. You could maybe some uh, add some gradient backgrounds or for, or for buttons and stuff like that. If you go to Bootstrap uh, documentation, if you go to uh, here in sidebar components you will have a buttons here and you could use the different buttons we, we use this one you could even add for the buttons we could do something like this uh, btn lg that will make bu button bigger you could see those so let me add those to every button even so you could uh, see it even better okay so yeah so in, on buttons you could use a different styling for the buttons you could even use outline buttons uh, you could uh, use small or large buttons even block buttons and stuff like that so also you will have uh, here uh, next to the buttons uh, cards and uh, if you scroll all the way down there you will have a uh, card uh, layouts basically so 
when we come, come here you will see that uh, you have card groups here and uh, just below are card decks that we used right now uh, here is the, some basic uh, HTML how it goes with it so you could uh, start try different stuff and uh, see what uh, goes uh, best for you okay this would be all for this video I hope that you like it so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and uh, give uh, a like to this video thank you and see you in the next one Thank you.